NYC Public School asks parents to reflect on their whiteness. Passed out a ranking list titled, The Eight White Identities. A city public school principal is asking parents to reflect on their whiteness passing out literature that extols white traders who dismantle institutions, education officials confirmed to the Post on Tuesday. The woke offensive at the East Side Community School in Manhattan features a ranking list titled The Eight White Identities, which ranges from white supremacist to white abolitionist. The curriculum, written by Barner Hesse, an associate professor of African American Studies at Northwestern University in Illinois, claims, there is a regime of whiteness, and there are action-oriented white identities. People who identify with whiteness are one of these, Hesse writes above the eight-point list. It's about time we build an ethnography of whiteness, since white people have been the ones writing about and governing others, Hesse adds. In between the two extreme identities of supremacist and abolitionist are such categories as white voyeurism defined as wouldn't challenge a white supremacist, desires non-whiteness because it's interesting and white privilege, or sympathetic to a set of issues but only privately, won't speak slash act in solidarity publicly because benefiting through whiteness in public, some POC are in this category as well. Dot. The eight white identities written by Northwestern University Associate Professor Barner Hesse. The handout was accompanied by a color-coordinated meter with the red zone on the left titled White Supremacist and the green zone on the far right labeled White Abolitionist. A New York City Department of Education official told The Post that some parents at the school, which caters to 6th through 12th graders on the Lower East Side, first shared the material with staff. The principal then disseminated it to every parent as part of a series of materials meant for reflection and as food for thought, the official said. A Doe rep said in a statement, anti-racism and the celebration of diversity is at the core of our work on behalf of the young people of New York City, and the East Side Community School students, parents and staff partner together to advance equity in their community. The document in question was shared with the school by parents as a part of ongoing anti-racist work in the school community and is one of many resources the school utilizes. Northwestern University Associate Professor Barner Hesse presents an ethnography of whiteness in the ranking list. The spokesman said school workers are now being threatened over the missive. Our staff are now being targeted with vile racist, anti-Semitic and homophobic slurs and degrading language from people outside of their school and nothing justifies the abuse directed at our educators, the rep said. Christopher Rufo of the Discovery Institute wrote in a tweet that included a posting of the curriculum, this is the new language of public education. The dissemination of Hesse's literature to parents comes as the Doe and school's Chancellor Richard Carranza have pushed to eliminate what they call current administrators' white supremacy culture. The administration has embraced anti-bias training across the board, with staffers forced to attend slideshow presentations denouncing the current culture's paternalism and power hoarding while getting sued over Carranza's alleged creation of an environment which is hostile toward whites. Rufo's February 15 tweet drew mixed reactions on Twitter. If you find this hostile, or unnerving, it's because you are fearing the loss of power and advantage that your skin color has afforded you. It's an agenda to bring true equality, a Twitter user fired at Rufo over Hesse's chart. But another writer said, this is what a public school spends time and money on. Anti-racism like this is a poison. The racial makeup of the student body at East Side Community was 55% Hispanic, 18% white, 15% black, 10% Asian and 2% other during the last school year. The school's principal, Mark Fetterman, declined comment through the education department. Fetterman made headlines in 2007 when he tried to prevent the arrest of a student accused of punching a school safety agent. The principal was arrested after scuffling with another agent during the fracas but returned to school later that day.